uh, excuse my messy self, but I had an epiphany and I wanted to share it with you. I, I am reading a book uh, called Boundaries in Dating by Cloud and Townsend. They do a regular book called Boundaries that is not specific to dating, but this one ended up being uh, a godsend and kind of um, coming at the perfect time. I am divorced and out of an abusive marriage, and I've been out of that marriage for 10 years. Uh, the divorce took a little longer to become final, so I haven't been fully single that long, but I have been alone that long. And in that time, I have isolated uh, and I haven't dated hardly at all. I've been on one actual quote-unquote date in 10 years. I've had opportunities. I've turned them down. I, I pray about every possible uh, potential situation, and I've had some ex-boyfriends come in and out of my life trying to... Uh, uh, see if we could work things out, and that's never been anything I've wanted to pursue, uh, but it was healing. Sometimes you have unresolved issues, and you need to heal, and so it's been a very healing and learning experience, but I am now uh, at a phase where I'm going to be dating, and I have never dated in the right way. I wasn't taught the right way to date. Um, I'm learning from this book the right way, and I'm anxious to have the proper boundaries in a dating relationship and to slow things down and not overshare and not get too close too quick uh, and not write someone off too quickly either because uh, I can do one or the other. I can either get too close too quick or I can decide too quickly that this person isn't for me and not really give them a chance. Um, so I'm, I've got a lot of things I'm learning from this book about dating in a healthy way. But where I've been reading that, it had my mind on things when I was praying and spend time with God. And I was thinking about how people in our lives can say they love us. This isn't applying to the dating situation now. This can apply to family, friends, what have you. Uh, but we can often not feel loved or we can know that we're not be treating, being treated with love uh, because we know what love is. We measure it against what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 13. Uh, and we can look at things and say, no, I'm not feeling loved. Or maybe people can say that with us. They can say, look, this doesn't feel loving to me. You say you love me, but this doesn't feel loving. And I think the problem there, uh, and maybe this is simplistic and maybe you already realize that, is that when we're hurt and damaged, we sometimes don't have the capacity to love the way that people need for us to show them that love. So what I was going to say is that the best thing you can do for yourself and for anyone you care about is try to get healthy. Try to self-improve. Try to get in the Word of God. Get some good books like the Boundaries book. There's regular Boundaries, Boundaries in Dating, Boundaries in all sorts of relationships. Uh, Joyce Meyer has a lot of good self-help books. Um, T.D. Jakes. There are a lot of, of good Christian literature or, or secular literature. There are a lot of ways. Uh, there's counseling. There's all sorts of things you can do to grow and heal and become more self-aware. And the best thing you can do for yourself or anyone else is heal and learn how to love in a healthy way. Because until you are able to do that, you're not going to be able to receive or give love in a way that feels like anything positive to anyone else. But if you've ever had a situation in your life where you've thought, I I've not been loved the way I need to be loved, then just keep in mind, it may not be because people don't care about you. It may be that that's the, the best capacity they have to love. Um, that they're, they're loving you with the best resources that they have, but maybe they're broken and that's, that's the most they have to offer. Uh, and keep in mind, if you've ever heard anyone else, maybe you owe them apologies, uh, pray that they'll give you the grace to know that you're loving them to the be best of your capacity. Um, but instead of stagnating in that place, grow. Just look at where you need to grow. Ask God uh, to show you what you need to change and how you can heal and work on yourself. Uh, it's going to make every relationship you have better, and it's going to give you some grace and forgiveness towards those who may not be loving you the way you feel like you need. So just my little plug there to, uh, to, to say the best thing you can do for yourself and those around you is try to heal. Try to heal and grow and get in the Word of God and get any help you can 